Me, 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 me. <laughs> me, 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 me. <laughs> Sorry. You know, like people do before they get on stage. No, nobody actually. She does. sells seashells by the seashore. I mean, I get that, but I don't think anybody does the me, 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 me. Six thing. silly swans swinging swords. She because you call seashells. Me, 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 me. Seashells? She shells, she shells, she shells peanuts by the seashore. She what I told your girlfriend after she got a gutter ball? No. I told her that if I was packing her a lunch, I'd make her a peanut gutter sandwich. Did you really? And she high fived me. <laughs> we'll try this again. What's up, everybody? My name's Adam, and this is Completely Random Product Reviews. Uh, this is my second episode on my new channel. Uh, today we're going to be reviewing two completely different products. One is edible and the other is not. Um, I'm going to have some guests with me for the edible portion of the review. Uh, today we're listening to Devin Townsend Project. Um, he's a Canadian musician, uh, fairly well known in the metal genre. He's a, an accomplished producer as well as a singer, guitarist, drummer. He does a little bit of everything. Um, first product Febreze car. See if we can get a good look at that right there. This is a little air freshener for your car. Um, it clips on your vent. What are you doing? <laughs> it clips on your vent and uh, it claims to have the smell of linen and sky. So it's supposed to smell like uh, Snuggles fabric softener, which it does. Um, I've had this in my car for 30 days. And on the package it says it eliminates lingering odors for 30 days. Today my car smelled like farts, but it was past the 30 day thing, so um, I guess it doesn't really apply. <laughs> Plus somebody farted in the car. But um, anyway, uh, Febreze Car Linen and Sky Air Freshener. Uh, I wish I could tell you what I, what I paid for this, but it's been a month ago, so I can't. Uh, it, was, it was average price for an air freshener. But uh, I clipped this into my car, and uh, it's got a little liquid reservoir in the front, and it's got an adjustable clip on the back for, uh, you know, whether you want a lot of smell or a little smell. And uh, I am pleased to report that it works pretty well when you have the vent blowing in your car. Um, this is not like the, the standard kind of little paper Christmas tree shaped thing that just, you know, emanates a smell regardless of whether your, your vent is on or not. But um, as long as you've got your vent blowing and you've got the little slider open, it does a pretty, uh, a pretty decent job of making your car smell good. Um, it lasted me a month, as stated, and air fresheners for cars are the kind of thing that you know are really hit or miss. There's a lot of really shitty ones out there. There's also some good ones. Um, but this one, I give it the thumbs up. I would suggest buying Febreze Car Air Freshener. Um, it makes your car smell smell like car freshener or uh, air freshener. What's the word I'm looking for? Fabric softener sheets. Yeah. Snuggles. Snuggles it makes your car smell like fabric softener sheets, which works for me because it's better than smelling like, you know, onion rings and Rockstar Energy Drink or something. Uh, so yeah, I give I give a I give a five out of five stars on the Febreze air freshener for your car. Um, it's good stuff. Now for the second review, um, we are going to do something that I have had the pleasure of uh, sampling on two occasions already, and uh, my guests on the show today suggested that we review this product, and they're over there giggling about something in the corner, and I don't know what it is. But um, anyway, I've got. Uh, got my children. I've got Josh, Eric, and Hannah, who uh, they have their own YouTube channel, which I'll let them tell you about when they get on screen. But um, they're each going to sit down here in the hot seat and try out this uh, product, and then I'm going to sit down and give you my thoughts about it. And uh, I don't know what they're pointing at, but what? There? There you go. All right. Okay, so who's up first? Somebody have a seat here and uh, talk to us about... That was well, Josh's. That was Brian. Yeah. There you go. All right. Hi. So this is the Oreo bar. They're making fun of you. Oh, no, that's rude. I said it 18 times during my speech today. Here's the Oreo. It's the Oreo cookie candy bar. Ah, uh, it's all melty. This is what it looks like. It has seven sections on it. 
Okay, so this is what the middle looks like. So, yeah. Alright, so the outside is like regular chocolate. And the inside is like cream. But it's different than the Oreo cream. It's like kind of sweeter a little bit. And then, if you've ever had a crunch bar, that's what the like bits of Oreo like crunch is like. Okay, next. Um, I, I just wanted to say before we um, try this Oreo chocolate candy bar, I wanted to say um, please go check out our channel. It's called Triple the Fun, and it's all three of us, and we do challenges, and we do games, and more stuff like that. So I'm going to... You guys introduced yourselves. Oh yeah, I'm Josh. Who was that before you? Yeah, it was Hannah before me. She, she forgot. Okay, yeah. Oh, it looks like that. Inside. Yeah. And I'm gonna try it. The cream inside is really good. It's like it kind of tastes like Oreo cream. Well, I don't think it's the same exact stuff, but um, I like the crunchy, like, little pieces of Oreo inside. And then the chocolate uh, mixed with the other things it makes it super rich, which makes it really good. So, I think I think that's all I have to say, so next we're going to have Eric. He's already got it open. He's ready. Hi guys, I'm Eric, and I'm going to try the Oreo candy bar. It looks really good, like really good. So I'm gonna break it open. It smells good. Two thumbs up. pretty good. I'd give it three thumbs up if I had three thumbs, but there we go. Thank you, buddy. Pretty good. Next. Thank you, sir. Alright, so that was Hannah, Josh, and Eric in that order trying out the Oreo chocolate candy bar. Uh, this candy bar, I'm gonna give you. I'm gonna give you my thoughts on it now. Um, this is from a company called Milka, I guess. Milka, M-I-L-K-A. Um, it's called Mondello's. Right, Mon Mondello is global. They're the same ones that do Oreo. Uh, but anyway, the nutrition facts on this candy bar. Uh, this comes in a two pack. That's the only way that I've seen these. They're two individually wrapped chocolate bars in each package. Um, a serving size is one bar. And it has 230 calories, 120 of which are from fat. Uh, quite a bit of fat and saturated fat, a lot of saturated fat, 40% of your daily value based on a 2,000 calorie diet. Uh, it's not a significant source of any vitamins or minerals or fiber or anything really. This is basically just a sugary treat to have. Um, as I said before, I have tried this on a couple of occasions already and I thought that I was ready to give it a, a fair and honest review. Uh, I'll show you as the others already did that the uh, outside of the bar is just your typical chocolate. Uh, it kind of makes me think of like a Toblerone a little bit with the little humps but rather than like you know the sharp jagged ones it's just kind of got like little rolling hills and um, the inside is like so. It, uh, it mimics 
the, the, the traditional cookies and cream combination that you get, you know, the, the chocolate cookie pieces and the white cream. So we will uh, we'll take a bite out of it. It's already melting in my hand, so you might do well to put this in the refrigerator or something. Or the freezer. I feel like if you froze the inside, it would be really good. It might be good. I'm going to go to town on this for just a minute, and then I'll tell you what I think. Well, the Oreo chocolate candy bar gets uh, points for consistency because this is the third time I've had it, and this is the third time that it's been delicious. Uh, this is a really good candy bar. As uh, one of the boys mentioned, I don't remember if it was Josh or Eric, the inside is very rich. I couldn't yeah. see myself eating more than one of these in a sitting. Who am I kidding? Um, but the cookie pieces are definitely crumbled up Oreos. The the cream in the middle is not the same cream that you get in an Oreo cookie. It's it's uh, richer, richer and maybe a little more buttery and creamy and thick. It's delicious. Um, I would eat this candy bar any old time. I think that this candy bar stands up next to uh, heavyweights like Snickers and Three Musketeers. I mean, I, I hope to see this candy bar around for some time. Uh, I have seen these at local gas stations. I've seen them at Walmart. I've seen them at the grocery store. You shouldn't have any trouble finding the Oreo uh, chocolate candy bar. Uh, I would highly recommend this. As far as candy bars go, I'm going to give this... I'm going to give this a four and a half out of five. Uh, the only reason I'm not giving it a five is because it's a little heavy. I mean, if I have to look for a critique, it's a little heavy. It's a little a little rich and dense. One candy bar is almost too much. Uh, it's like eating fudge. It's just almost like too sweet and dense. But um, four and a half out of five stars for the Oreo. Five out of five for the Febreze car air freshener. Thank you to my guests, Eric and Josh and Hannah, for coming on the show. And uh, maybe we'll have them on again sometime and they can give us some more thoughts. Also, uh, again, I'll plug their YouTube channel. Check out Triple the Fun on YouTube. Uh, there are two Triple the Fun channels. Theirs is the good one, the one that's got all the videos. Um, go check it out. It's lots of good stuff. It's fun times. They do uh, food challenges and, you know, uh, they go to the dollar store and find bizarre products and they try them and kind of give their reviews on them. Uh, you go to the skate park, all kinds of fun stuff. So thanks to my guests. Uh, thank you for watching the show. Devin Townsend is what we've been listening to. Highly recommend checking them out on YouTube. Uh, you can uh, you can find them uh, under the band name Strapping Young Lad. That's his metal project. Also, Devin Townsend Project uh, is the name of his solo group, I guess. And uh, a particular favorite of mine is an album that Devin Townsend did called Ocean Machine. Uh, that was like the project name, Ocean Machine, and the album name was Biomech. Check it out. It's awesome stuff if you like uh, good, kind of complex, you know, rock or metal music that's also catchy at the same time. So, this has been Completely Random Product Reviews. Thank you for watching, and uh, we'll check you out next time. Peace out. Now I get to dress my candy bar. <laughs> <laughs>